Cool Contraption Guy with Tom Fox, workshop editor for Boys Quest and Fun for Kids magazines, presents... Hi, I'm Tom Fox. In this series of videos, I will show how to use the mysterious phenomenon popularly referred to as electricity in many interesting projects. Will you understand what is really going on in electricity after viewing these videos? I mean really and truly, probably not. Despite what is believed, even by many physicists, electricity is still mysterious. If you happen to doubt this, consider the QED theory which is supposed to explain it. While the QED theory is said to come out with numerical predictions more accurate than many other known theories, it has real problems. Literally, big-time problems, since these problems involve nasty infinities. Even one of the founders of QED, Richard Feynman, calls getting around these infinities a dippy process. In this series, I will show how to make some simple yet practical projects from this mysterious thing called electricity. While electricity is mysterious, there are over a million times a million fascinating contraptions we can make using it. In this first in the series of videos, I will show how to make a project made from a popsicle stick that is both as simple and as useful as they come, a switch. This switch will be used in many of the interesting electrical projects in this series. The second video shows what this switch does and a down-to-earth look at electricity itself. We are starting description of how to make a popsicle stick switch with its finished product. You'll see basically how it will look and you have some idea what you're trying to do. What it does here simply is when you press on this switch there's a short between this wire and this wire. This short allows electricity to flow. We will show at the end of making this project how we can turn a light on with this switch. This switch is connected to a, a relay can turn large motors on, uh, could even possibly turn on all the electricity in your house. Of course you have, can't do it directly, you have to connect it to a relay which which w provides the that turns the relay on and that the relay uh, will turn on more power. Here's the stuff you need for this popsicle stick switch. Of course you need a popsicle stick or a craft stick. Good quality uh, ice cream treats come with the best popsicle stick there is also need a baseboard. This is a one by four inch board six inches long. You need three round head wood screws three quarter inch long. These are brass. Regular nickel plated is fine. Also need a one half inch 632 machine screw and two 632nd machine screw nuts. You need a couple pieces of like number 22 wire insulated does not have to be color any color or if it is they could be the same color in a piece of packing material this is inexpensive you find it in some of the packing material we, we, things are shipped in it's spongy and this is a, a little duct tape will be able to so be able to strap down the wire so they don't get in the way. Since we are be doing some drilling in this next step, we use an old scrap piece of wood as our drilling board. In other words, we don't care if the get holes in it like we have here. We don't want really holes in our workbench here. Although it's it's okay if it happens. Now what we want to drill, we want to drill three 
one eighth inch holes and about like this drawing shows we want a hole three quarter about three quarter inch here and about a half inch here and a half inch here the exact place isn't isn't that important so we could just do it quickly here put one there and over here we want to drill the holes one half inch here this is one half inch this is another half inch this is one inch from the top we want to drill slowly so it doesn't crack the wood the better the craft stick or popsicle stick the better better quality and it's uh we found i found from dove bars which are really tasty uh they have a popsicle the the stick that holds a dove bar is really thick and well made very good wood other high quality ice cream treats i'm sure has similar high quality uh see i'm going real slowly here that's we avoid cracking the wood. This photo shows the three one eighth inch holes drilled in the popsicle stick. In this next step, we want to drill pilot holes, one sixteen inch pilot holes in the baseboard. In order to mark where we want the pilot holes, we use the stick we already drilled as a guide. Use a pencil, put a mark, inside for this where we actually drilled where we want to drill the 16th inch holes okay so there's one there and there's one there there's two there now using a 1 16th inch drill bit we want to make the pilot holes there One sixteenth drill bits are quite fragile. They will break if you press too hard on them. For this next step, we want to install this three quarter inch long round headed number six wood screw. This will be the contact we will, we will be in the next step hook up a wire to this attach this uh, the wire to the screw for a good connection first you have to strip the insulation off and have this uh, the copper show then you make a loop and put it around the head, head of the screw between the screw and the board and just tighten it like this. Now you have a good connection. In this step, we want to put this six thirty second, one half inch long machine screw through the hole at the top of the pop popsicle sticks. Uh, since the hole and the screw is almost the same size, we screw, use a screwdriver to screw it in. It, it won't just slip in. Then we want to screw, put two nuts on this screw. These nuts will be are used because we're going to install the uh, wire, the other wire onto this uh, screw it, something like this. We will do that at the one of the last steps. See, we'll, we want to put it here and then we'll be able to make contact. That's our switch. The next step 
is to attach the stick to the baseboard. And as you can see, if we put two screws, which we plan on putting two screws there, they'll just hold it there, and these two contacts will be just closed, and there won't be any switch. So we need something to keep it above these two screw heads from touching until we press down on them. And as soon as we press down on them and let go of it, they should come back. What we're doing is to use a little piece of packing material, fold it up, and put it underneath here, this screw, and that'll cause it to something like this, see? Here, let's try that out. This one we made a little hole at a time, like this. Now we put it underneath here. We put this through here, like this. Put this through the hole we made in the packing material. And then just put the two holes together, as you can see. And then we could just start screwing the screw into the wood piece board. This one has the packing material. The other one won't have any packing material. That'll hold it from this other screw. will hold it from misalignment. This is what you'd call maligning, aligning alignment screw. You have to uh, adjust these so it'll cause what we want to, so we want them to hit together when we press it and let go. Now the way to do that is basically what we want to do is this one should be screwed almost all the way to the board tight. This one won't be so to the board. And just enough so we keep it from connecting there. That seems to be we tighten this one and they'll bring that up a little bit farther. See? It's bringing it up. And we're we got our switch. See the connectors made? The other thing we have to do, of course, is to connect this wire to this so we have our connections over here. We just have to tighten it a little bit. And uh, you could use a pair of pliers to actually we tighten it a little more. We want a good connection so it doesn't. And now, our switch is almost done. The very last step is we want to tape the wires so they do not get in the way of the switch.